Julia. Welcome hey. to our Zoom room. Hey, Chandra. Welcome to the show. So thanks for coming on and being interviewed and being one of uh, our entrepreneurs in Calgary. This is super exciting. So let's well, thanks for having me. Yeah, let's just get started. Tell me a bit about your business. So our business is called Instant Imprints, and we are in the business of helping other businesses be visible. So that looks like, you know, any business that needs to get visible through signage, apparel, uh, promotion products. Uh, we have five pillars. On. Oh, embroidery. So we embroider clothing as well as heat transfer and screen print. That's, right. that's our business. Yeah. So why is it important that they become visible? Well, number one, because if nobody knows you're out there, how are they going to buy from you? So inside your marketing strategy, it's super important that you set aside and look at, you know, having yourself be visible out there in community, especially in the times of COVID, because, you know, people are, people are on in the unknown of who's left as a business, who's still open, who's not. You want to be out there letting people know that, hey, we're here, we're open for business, we're ready to go. Yeah, awesome. Really good points for sure. How long have you been in business for? Um, we have been in business. We're going into our fifth year. Wow. Okay. So our years start like July. So come July. So we're like just at the tail end of four starting year five. Mm, okay. So who's your target market or who do you really sell to? Who's your best customer? So for us, our target market, our best customer is uh, small to mid-sized businesses that are looking to promote themselves. Because okay. a lot of the bigger businesses do what we do in-house. So, oh, you know, okay. from one employee, one, one person in a business to 200, probably our ideal customer. Okay, cool. And that's who you've been working with over the last five years so far then, I take it. Yep. That's yeah. who we work with. Cool. What's the greatest impact this pandemic has had on your business? Uh, the pandemic, the greatest impact has been one, we've had to let employees go, which I hate, 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 hate doing because, you know, we love supporting local. We love, you know, we try everything we do. We try and do inside a small business and we love to support families. So we've gone from supporting six families inside of Calgary down to supporting three. Right. So that's probably the biggest hit that we've taken inside the pandemic. Yeah. Wow. Which is, yeah, part of this interview show is part of supporting local, right? Seeing Absolutely. what's going on. Yeah, still with the other businesses and what they're doing and what they're up to, right? And how we can make a difference. And not waiting. Like, I mean, I got that, you know, they're saying some are open, some are not open, but just not waiting to grow and to get out there and to network and talk to people. Yeah, like despite what's happening. Yep. Right. So what one or two actions have you taken over this past year that have really made a difference for you? Um, so some of the things we've taken on is we've looked at other ways to market. Like we were before we were doing a lot of, um, you know, on foot walking into businesses. And we know that that's not possible inside the pandemic. So we've moved to uh, social mediums like slip text, using our Facebook to advertise more. Um, and then the other thing is we've started creating one-on-one -on -one Zoom meetings where we would have met in a Starbucks or gone to a business before. We're meeting one-on-one -on -one inside of social media and Zoom, right. which is kind of cool. Yeah, that is super cool. And how, how have those actions been working out for you so far? Yeah, uh, pretty good. Like, I mean, we're here. We're still afloat. If we'd have done nothing, we wouldn't have turned a, a dime inside the business. So we're turning away. And, you know, I'm optimistic that once people got the vaccine and we get going, people are going to need to promote themselves. So we're here and we're ready. Yeah. So it sounds like even though you're helping other businesses promote themselves, you're still out there promoting yourself in spite of everything that's been happening. And that's been really useful. Like don't stop yeah. that game. Absolutely. If the other businesses don't know that we're still in business, how will they know to come to us for all their marketing needs, their visibility? Yeah, I love it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's been said that smart people learn from their own mistakes, but wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what are the, some of the mistakes that you've made along the way that entrepreneurs can learn from? Um, well, I would say one of the biggest things is, um, is we do really well inside of marketing. Then we start bringing work in and we start churning. 
then we start getting um, seeped inside of getting the work done instead of staying out and marketing. So instead of like growing like this, you know, we, we come to a plateau and then we're working inside the business and the marketing falls off. Mm -hmm. So just not staying consistent out there, meeting people, letting them know what we're up to. That probably would be one of the biggest pitfalls that we have. Right. So despite how big your business or your company is growing, you still got to be out there marketing, making sure that client flow is coming in so that it doesn't dry up and then you're running a hamster wheel. That's right. A very wise man that I know said that what we do today shows up 90 days from now inside of our sales. So (laughs) you've always got to be looking out 90 days. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard that too from probably the same wise man. So the same wise man. (laughs) Awesome. Where can people find you? So our brick and mortar um, location is located across from Chinook. Uh-huh. So where the Scotia Bank is, we're right behind Mojo's Registry is our neighbor. So that's where they can find us. They can also find us on social media. We have a Facebook, we have a Twitter, we have Instagram. Um, that's where we do most of our, you know, we like to do a lot of flash promotions and all that shows up in our Facebook and um, in our social media. Okay. What's your uh, tag, your handle for Facebook or social or Instagram? Uh, for Instagram, we're Chinook Instant Imprints. Okay. For Facebook, we are Chinook Instant Imprints. And our website is Instant Imprints forward slash Chinook.com. That's okay. where we can be found. Right. So when you're doing your, say, one on one Zoom meetings with people or with uh, potential clients that you're talking to, are you helping them? like create the next marketing campaign? Or are you uh, telling them yeah, what we're, else they might We're looking at how they're presently visible at the moment. Um, and then, you know, what they see inside of, we work with the budget that they have and we look to see where they can expand their visibility. You know, is it going to be, I'm thinking, for example, um, a painting crew. Uh-huh. So, you know, we're actually working on, with one right now and they have vehicle decals and they just got, that's what they came in for, vehicle wrap, vehicle decals. But then, you know, as they walked in, we took a look at them and they didn't have shirts with their logo on them. So, you know, we, we educated them around how many people would see them inside their shirts and they could aver- they're advertising on the back for help because they're going into the season where they're going to be busy. So we just look at you you know, what can we cater and what can fit to have you be more visible? Okay, cool. So when people interact with you, there's a bit of that educational component as well of why the marketing through the uses that you have to provide. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So last question, Chandra, tell me what is most inspiring to you today? What is most inspiring to me? Well, you know, really what's been most inspiring over the last 10 months to me is just how small business, medium-sized business inside of Calgary has been pulling for each other, coming together and pulling that we all win and we come out the other side of this stronger. Very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I know when I'm scrolling through my Instagram, I see all the local feeds or different like new things that are popping up and the tags and everything that are showing up. And I've gone to a lot of those businesses myself. So I'm like, Ooh, that looks good. Like, let's go check it out. Yeah, me too. I'm always looking to see, you know, are they local? How many families are they supporting? What can I do? What do they need right now? And, you know, just creating together that we all grow. Yeah. Awesome. And that's the name of the game right now in Calgary, right? It's like, how can we grow with everything happening? And especially with a lot of small businesses, the ideas, the more ideas we can generate and utilize, I think the better for our economy, right? Yeah, absolutely. We're in this together. I love it. Very cool. Well, thanks Chandra for coming on the show. You are welcome. (laughs) This was fun. You're why'd you mute yourself? Can you hear my puppy? Oh yeah, I can. (laughs) You got your dog walking in, you got your puppy, life of a small business owner, right? Yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, awesome. Okay, well, thank you. And that's what we got for today. Awesome.